Hi everyone, my name is Masadeep and this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I am gonna show you how to create a simple number counter using expression and keyframes. So let's open up a new composition and for us work on command plus n shortcut key for new composition. I will just use by 1920 by 1080p black composition. Let's go to add a new solid for background. I am using here blue color. Let's go to add a new text layer. Right click and add a text layer. Here I just put one as a placeholder and in the character menu you can choose a font color size and all those settings. So next move on we want to head over to effect tab and go to expression control and add a slider control. Also you can find out the slider control from effect control tab. You can go here and see pressing control and expand slider control and you can apply your text layer. You can see here right now nothing happened anything here. We can expand the value of number in slider control but nothing happened. So this is the default expression text dot short text. But if we click the little pick whip and we drag it onto the slider control effect, we can allow the short text to be controlled by slider. So you can see here when we drag this over to the attach the slider. So you can see when you click and drag the slider control move into outward or inward the number is changing based on the slider control. That is the cool part of about expression. But now let's use some keyframes animate this. So I am at 0 second onward timeline right now. So let's set this back to 0 and add the click of the stopwatch icon on the slider. Then let's head over to about 10 seconds. Let's say make this 100. So now it's going to be 0 to 100. But you see all these decimals point that start popping up in the end. We haven't told after effects to do with this number or numbers toward down. So there are a couple ways to you could fix this decimal part issue. Now open script type beginning of the part capital M A T H dot R O U N D open parenthesis and end of the part close parenthesis. Click outside of any area. Now let's see decimal point are fixed. So if you guys enjoy this video then make sure you have a like on it below. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my any future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I will see next time.